Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics. It's sunset. We got camp set up. We're actually going to drive a little ways down the road to uh, cook dinner because we don't want to cook it next to our tent. Uh, normally, if you were backpacking in Alaska, you wouldn't, you know, you cook at least a thousand yards away from where your tent is. It's just a safety thing. We're up here hunting. This is my hunting buddy Jay. Wave, Jay. Hello. All right. We got a little wet, but we made it through. Yeah, That's all that matters. At this we point. just took our boats out, our inflatable rafts out there, so we didn't have to carry them with us. Heavy duty inflatable rafts to carry the meat. You know, a lot of people do pack rafts, but they're so expensive and they still rip uh, pretty well. So we just carried those out uh, through the trail here. All right, the trail goes there and it's just muddy most of the first four or five hundred yards. We saw one caribou on the ridge. And the reason why I don't have footage of it is because my dumb butt forgot the camera in the car. So. Everybody say thanks dumb butt Chuck. All right, but we did see one caribou on the ridge. Uh, Jay saw one jump up in front of us, spook up in front of us. So, um, about 70 yards away. About 70 yards away, Jay. Yep, 70 yards away on the trail. Just saw him for a second and darted across and didn't see him after that. Yeah. That's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, I couldn't really tell if it was a bull or a cow, but uh, anyway, the mosquitoes are nasty, so we're gonna get out of here, and we'll. Catch up with y'all in the morning. Hi y'all, Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics. Just getting ready for the caribou hunt here. Alright, about to walk out about a mile and a half here. I got 45 Super across my chest, Glock 21. Added a new muzzle brake, seems to slow everything down a little bit. Carrying the 7mm Magnum. Um, got my 44 on my hip here. We are walking through bear country, same place I showed you in a couple videos ago about the uh, bear tracks and the print. We saw two caribou there last night. Cabela Zones pants really blends into the Adlers. Fortunately, I didn't have the money to buy the shirt yet, so y'all subscribe so I can start selling YouTube advertising. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, uh, got a nice Under Armour. This thing keeps you really warm. Uh, sweatshirt on. Going to be doing lots of walking. So. All right, red-filled binoculars. Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics here, just showing you some of the trail that we uh, are walking on here. This is our trail, the whole way up, just about. It turns dry later. There's the trail. There's the trail in the back there. Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics, we're set up to watch this area for caribou. We're going to last for a while down on the creek. It's a lot further down the mountainside than we thought. So we're down on that creek. The buddy sat down to spot a little bit and he found this caribou. Not a very big one. It's the first caribou we've seen him be able to get on film. He's probably about 12 to 1300 yards out there, possibly farther than that back out the camera let you see how far away he really is so as you can see not always easy animals to spot but they are here we are in the right spot a lot of times when one gets up another one will get up later and feed later this one's not too big good eating size though if he comes within range good eating size I don't know this one is a bull, actually. It could be a female, but it looks like it might have a little shovel on the antlers. We can't tell. He won't put his head up. Yeah. 
I know. Yeah, he's not that far. Chuck from Alaskan Ballistic, this is Caribou number two. Got him in range. Or her, I can't tell. This caribou's trucking along pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna shoot him. A little small. He's in range, but he hasn't given me a shot. Maybe he'll stop for Jay. Jay's on the other side of this ridge. Here's that first caribou again. A little closer now. About 400 yards from me here are two baby moose and a mama moose, it looks like. Can you see the two baby moose right there? There's the mom. About as far in as I can zoom. They're not too far from me. grunt and sneeze. That's how I knew she was over there. Saw the movement. Alright, here we have a caribou on the edge of the lake. Probably about 400 yards. I can take a shot, but I'm gonna wait for a bigger one to come along. This is not a bad one. He gets closer or something, I might. A little windy out here today. Don't wanna risk a bad shot in a wounded animal. I've made that shot before, but never on a live animal, so. Here we go, here's some good footage of him with the light. He's going by the edge of the lake. He's about 500 yards. And he just disappeared into the brush. I didn't think that stuff's that thick, but it is. Ballistics. We got another caribou. He's about 1,300-1,400 yards away. Slightly bigger than the last one. 
might be the same one, but he's coming from a different direction. I doubt it. I think he's got a little different shaped rat from what I can tell. But he's just walking across me. He's ways away. The other one was on the back side of this lake, right on the edge of the water. He, he's quite a bit of ways past it, and the camera doesn't even do justice how far away he is. Almost noon, it's 11.47. They can hide in this brush real well, as you can see. Just just disappear in there. Here's a small caribou, very small antlers. I think this is the same one that snuck up on me while I was trying to go to the bathroom and ran too quickly earlier this morning. But uh, he's probably about, I don't know, 12, 13, 1400 yards away easily. And uh, he's just sitting there feeding. About 1.30 in the afternoon, about 65 degrees. Looks like he's heading the wrong way. Put it down right there. Alright, here's another little small caribou bull. He's at about 582 right now. Just popped out out of nowhere. Looks like some of the same ones we've seen today. Single shovel. Not too tall a rack. Here you go, some more footage of this caribou.
As you can see, they can just disappear right into the brush. He's coming this way. Five hundred and forty yards right now. All I can say is we are hunting for meat, not trophies, so if I end up taking this small one, I'll have some really good tasting meat. Winds calm down just a hair. He's made the difference up to about four seventy. is now getting closer to the edge of the lake. So about 2,000 yards away we saw a different caribou in the brush while this one was feeding. Couldn't get him on film. Couldn't get a shot at either one. Alright guys, day two of the uh, caribou hunt. Which sun's rising. Last night we decided to go get our boat and trek it down the mountain to um, have it in position to get the caribou this morning. We didn't have any caribou coming closer than that one that was 430 yards. Decided not to shoot him because he was a little small, but today if he's brown, he's down. So, sun's just coming over the ridge. We've already seen three caribou in the fields and two moose. None of them near close enough. A couple of small cows to our left. Here's a moose and her calf. They're about a thousand yards or more away from us. There's another moose in the background right over there. So they've kind of been walking. Oops, she stumbled. Proof that wild animals stumble through the wilderness too.
yard chuck from Alaska Ballistics. We got one at about 200 yards. See it now. So I apologize for not getting the kill on camera. It was pretty quick. I was working the camera while Jay was ranging. He just came up on us quickly. Meh. What's he at? What's he at? He's definitely wounded. He's down. Hi y'all, Chuck here from Alaskan Ballistics. Got a nice cow, caribou. She's got antlers, but she is a cow. All right, so she walked out at about 200 yards and walked through. My first shot was high on the back uh, because I had my scope set on 12 power and my, Hornady, or my Nikon BDC reading on 14 power. And that was just me being dumb. But anyway, it hit her high in the back. And then the next two shots hit her square in the shoulders. And we're going to get to work, pack this thing out of here. All right, Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics. That's the caribou hunt. Hi, y'all. Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics. We're sitting here floating the kayak out. I got a kayak for me. My buddy Jay is in a big boat we bought last year, kind of a bigger inflatable. I wouldn't say bigger inflatable, it's seven foot, but um, nice wide. It's supposed to be two person, but it's really not unless you're paddling around on the back of the lake somewhere. But anyway, just showing you how we're getting our meat out. We hunted next to this creek and we had to pack our rafts in. And so now we're having to um, use them to get the meat out. A lot easier to pack the rafts in than it is to pack the meat out. Alright, make sure you like and subscribe. So so there's Jay behind me on the big raft. Got this bright idea of paddling it from the front. Hope it doesn't fall over and drown in the rapids. Showing you the trail we walked in on is way up that mountain. About, I don't know. 600 yards from where it becomes really steep. There's a little flat area shelf there. And then we walk down into the valley. All right, once, just to, to glass and do all the video shooting I did yesterday. And then we did it again to take our raft and kayak down. And that was a pain. That was a real pain. We ended up uh, really wearing ourselves out. We slept in our hunting spot with emergency blankets. When we got the kayaks and stuff there, we were fine. It wasn't that cold. Probably got down to about 45. And uh, we put plenty of clothes on. And after last year's debacle, 
uh, we decided, you know, we'd have emergency stuff with us, built a fire, um, on the, on the beach, of course, where it's safe, not up in the brush, and, uh, we, we did all that, and then this morning we shot that caribou, and so now we're just getting the meat out, I'm sitting here waiting for Jay, his raft's a lot slower than this kayak, so make sure you stay together in the Alaska wilderness as much as possible. All right, God bless. Like and subscribe. There's Jay. Smile for everybody at home, Jay. Hello. Yep, he's paddling his boat like this. It's kind of silly looking. Hey, I'm just having fun. Going on a little boating stroll. Yep. We do have this small raft, like, piled up with stuff. He's just doing what he wants to do. Hopefully the rapids won't knock him out of the boat and drown him. His wife would not like that. Nor his daughters. He's got his life vest on, though. Look at that. Boat safety, y'all. Boat safety. Gun safety, boat safety. It's all important. All about safety. Yep. Especially out in the wilderness. Absolutely. All right, just so everybody knows, we made it home safely. We got out of the rapids, and we ground up all of the things ourselves. It was raining too hard to really um, take the camera out. 